that the senator, do you think the senator is vulnerable? That, that's the first question. Unquestionably. Uh, and, and, listen, and where? Uh, where do you and, think he well, is? Well, you start with this. Any candidate who enters an election not thinking they're vulnerable is the most vulnerable candidate you've ever met. So I think Scott Brown is a very smart politician. Uh, I think, uh, you know, what I believe, this is almost guaranteed to be a close election. I mean, the last election, Scott Brown won by four points. I mean, less than 50 votes a precinct. And that was an election where, the de where we, as Democrats, and I'll take responsibility for it, did a terrible job. We took the election for granted. We, you had, we were, our feet were in cement. We weren't ready to go. You took it for granted. Of course we did, because Scott Brown was a terrible state senator, and no one thought he was serious. And, and that was a terrible mistake that we did. We thought that the race was won, and we weren't ready when Scott Brown caught a wave. And then he used, and I give him credit for the political skill to get up on the board and ride that wave. Uh, but that was a really short election. And I think that what's happening with voters right now is they decided, listen, I don't really know much about this guy, but I'm going to give him a shot for two years. Now he's looking well, for a six-year well, extension, and, 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 and remember, they're wondering. You know, people might think that Massachusetts is, is, a, is a democratic state, and, and I'm not going to argue with that, but I will say 51% of the of the enrolled voters are independents, are, are, no are unenrolled. Yes. So that's greater than...